Hey, what's going on guys? If you're looking at moving or relocating to Grand Forks, North Dakota, this is the video for you. In this video, I'm gonna give you a complete tour of Grand Forks. And overall, I'm gonna show you exactly what it looks like to work, eat, sleep, live, and play here. So let's get right into it. What's going on guys? David Van Ashey here with the Living in North Dakota team. And if this is your first time to this channel and you wanna learn everything about what it's like to work, eat, sleep, live, and play here in Grand Forks and the entire state of North Dakota, make sure you click that subscribe button and tap the bell to get notified every time we put out a new video. And look, honestly, we're getting so many phone calls, emails, and text messages every single day from people who are looking to move and relocate to our state. We absolutely love it. So if you're even thinking about moving or relocating here to Grand Forks or anywhere else in the state of North Dakota, give us a call, shoot us an email, send us a text message, days, nights, weekends, we've got your back when moving here to Grand Forks, North Dakota. All right, so one thing about Grand Forks, as the city has grown over the last, you know, 100 years or whatever, it's growing to the south. It started up at the river, and so we're driving around right now in these beautiful neighborhoods. There's brand new construction available. As you can tell, it just is absolutely stunning. Large yards, all the green grass. You know, most of these homes have three car garages. Again, in the winter here, you're gonna want that. It's nice to have your vehicles parked indoors so that you don't have to deal with a lot of the uh, snow and ice. Yeah, no, this place is absolutely stunning. So finding the right place, you know, homes don't come and go very often. People are definitely moving in and not out. And so you're gonna wanna be able to get a hold of us well in advance of your move to Grand Forks. So whether you're, you know, six days or six months away from moving this direction, make sure you give us a call, shoot us a quick email or send us a text message and connect with us. That way we can start the conversation now. I can introduce you to one of our team members who can keep an eye out for your ideal home in the ideal area. So if you're moving here to work for, you know, the University of North Dakota or, you know, one of the hospitals or clinics, you know, you're gonna probably want to be in an area that's close to work possibly, or if you prefer, you know, a little bit more uh, eclectic, you know, area, you know, we can check out downtown, um, the original downtown with all the really old brick buildings. Uh, a lot of that's getting remodeled and um, turning into some really fantastic areas as well. Although a lot of the areas also, you know, more or less for college students. And, you know, let's talk about that for a second. You know, if you are moving here for college or your, your, your kids are, it might make sense to actually buy a place here during their time in school. That way you can be your own landlord and then sell the property, you know, at the conclusion of, of everybody studying here. So, you know, if that's something that you've been considering or thinking about, uh, yeah, again, give us a call, shoot us an email, you know, and send us a text message. We can talk through those details and, you know, make sure that you guys are making good decisions and that it's in the right area for you and your students or for yourself if you are the student, of course. So, so one of the things that I like most about Grand Forks is that you really do get a small town feel, but it has all of the services and, you know, restaurants and stores that pretty much any normal big city would have. I'm gonna take you over right now, just to kind of start off with, um, you know, the retail side of things. Let's take a look at, you know, a couple of the larger, you know, I'd say the largest, you know, um, retail center where you're gonna have your Lowe's, you're gonna have your Best Buy, you're gonna have your Kohl's, you're gonna have all your, you know, shopping, you got your Red Lobsters and your uh, Olive Garden, everything like that. So let's drive over there right now and check that out. So I think the easiest way to kind of give you an idea of what's available in Grand Forks as far as shopping and retail, just to show you. You know, so I'm just gonna drive around this parking lot. This is not the only shopping center, but it's definitely the largest one. So Edward Jones, Waxing, Nails and Spa, Midco. Midco is gonna be your uh, internet and cable TV provider. Across the street over there, you got dental offices, Chick-fil-A, you got a Sakura Japanese restaurant. Here, of course, you got your Verizon Wireless, video game store, Five Guys, burgers and fries. You got your supplement stores, your haircuts. You got your VA office, you got your Froyo shop. You got lots and lots of little shops. And and we'll just kind of cruise around the parking lot here. You got your Hobby Lobby. Obviously, if you're into Hobby Lobby, you know what that is. Decorations, crafts. We'll just actually drive this way and 
and then go back across so you can see everything else that's over here. Now in North Dakota, the Salvation Army is a, you know, a big thing and they have thrift stores. So, you know, there is where you can donate. But yeah, you got Hobby Lobby. When you move here and you get your own, you know, you get your home purchased and uh, let's say you don't have enough stuff to go with you, you're gonna wanna go shopping. So you got your Ashley Home Store here. So yep, Ashley Home Store. Kohl's. Okay, this is another section of this long, extensive marketplace retail center. You got Sierra, they got all kinds of uh, sporting goods and workout clothes, things like that. If you don't know what TJ Maxx is, basically similar to Ross, you know, you got a clothing store, lots of other things to look at. Of course, a lot of people's favorite. Here in Grand Forks, Walmart's in a different location um, next to the Sam's Club as well. So they don't have Costco here, but you do have Sam's Club, but you also have Target and it's a full on, full size grocery store, you know, Target with the drive up, you know, order online. A lot of people, especially in the wintertime guys, if you've got kiddos, order all your groceries and your things online and then pull up to one of these parking stalls and they'll bring everything out to you. So you don't even have to unbuckle the little kids out of um, their car seats, things like that. Definitely gonna wanna take advantage of that during the winter months, even in the summer months like now, you know, it's definitely gonna be helpful for you. Yeah, famous footwear, Alta. Keep on going here gift shops, clothing store, Old Navy, and you got Buckle. Boot Barn's a big deal. They're all over North Dakota. You know, get your Western wear, you got boots. Michael's, I'd say they're like a direct competitor to Hobby Lobby. So um, of course you've got Lowe's. If you're a do-it-yourself or like a lot of North Dakotans are, you know, you got Lowe's and Menards. Menards is basically, if you're not familiar with Menards, it's a regional version of like Lowe's or Home Depot. They're based out of Wisconsin. All right, so I get, hope that gives you a little bit of an idea of how much shopping there is here. I mean, this is literally just one, one of the shopping centers throughout Grand Forks, one of the newer ones. But, you know, as the city has grown, there are numerous, and I mean that, numerous other, you know, shopping centers, grocery stores, pretty much everything you could think of as far as shopping and retail and groceries is available. Best Buy is on the other side of this parking lot. So if you want, you know, electronics and appliances, things like that. I personally like going to Best Buy just because they, I don't know, typically when it comes to that kind of stuff, I like to have hands on to see what's going on. Ordering a lot of electronics online just doesn't always work out so great, at least for me, but. All right, so let's talk about where you're gonna sleep at night. It depends on why you're moving here, right? I mean, if you're a college student, and you know you're thinking about going into the dorms or renting an apartment or something maybe talk to your parents and see if um, they might be wanting to actually buy a home here there's lots of homes near the college near the university it might make sense for them to uh, to go that route and just make you their renter and then you know sell the home after you're done with school or maybe you have siblings that are coming after you that's something that a lot of folks do to to really save a lot of money and you know ultimately have more control over you know their finances finances. So that's an option too. But if you're moving here and you're at a later, you know, typically at a later stage in life and you're looking for a newer, you know, nicer neighborhood, you're going to want to go to the south end of Grand Forks. I'm going to take you there right now and show you some of the brand new, absolutely stunning neighborhoods that we have here to show you. Again, if you're looking, thinking about moving here, whether it's in you know, six days or, you know, six months or even longer, reach out to us now. Our team would love to, you know, jump on a Zoom call with you, talk about, you know, the market here, talk about, you know, your situation, your goals, and ultimately, you know, make sure you have a solid game plan in place so that, you know, the home that uh, we ultimately help you find is gonna be not only, you know, a great fit for you, but in a great location. And it's gonna help make sure that you're living the lifestyle that works best for you, your family, and, you know, your situation. So yeah, let's head out to the south end of Grand Forks and check out some of these neighborhoods right now. So here in Grand Forks, one of the largest grocery store chains is called Hugo's. They've got, you know, everything that you'd expect from a good grocery store, good value. So you got Hugo's and you got the wine and spirit store. Now here in North Dakota, that might be a little bit different for you. Beer and wine and uh, liquor are all sold in a separate store technically. So even if you go to a Walmart, if you're used to seeing um, alcohol and beer on the shelves with everything else, here is not the case. You actually have to leave and go into a separate store, which is what's here. So Hugo's, there's multiple locations of Hugo's throughout Grand Forks. You know, a lot of times, you know, people might talk about, you know, which Hugo's is their favorite. You know, it's, um, you know, which one do you normally go to? Which, which part of town do you live in? So 
you know, definitely Hugo's is a staple. You know, it's a staple grocery store for people who are, you know, living here and everyone ultimately gravitates towards their favorite Hugo's. Although, you know, there are other options as well if, if that's not for you. So you definitely find out what's going on with that. All right, so a question that a lot of people have, you know, what is there to do for fun in Grand Forks? Well, obviously we've seen the shopping center, so you can go shopping and, you know, fulfill as much as that as you, you know, you want and your heart desires. There's downtown, historic downtown, has a lot of really cool uh, bars you got, of course, you got dive bars as well down there, and you know, but the whole like, the whole area down there is becoming more revitalized. They're pouring a lot of money into making it really eclectic and cool, and so you know they're bringing that area. You know, let's let's call it. They're bringing it back to life, like a lot of cities around the country have been doing with their old downtowns, making it a really fun, desirable place to go out for the evening. You know, have some drinks, have some dinner. Definitely, if you're into dancing, there's there's you know you can go out and you know have that environment. I wouldn't say there's any necessarily like club club. You know, like a big city might have but there's lots of fun things to do as far as that's concerned as far as sports this is a college town and the university of north dakota und the sports here especially the hockey is nationally ranked you know one of the best in the in the country and so you're gonna have you know if you're not into sports you're, you're gonna definitely want to figure out how to get into it because that's a huge part of life and living here is you know cheering on cheering on the different you know student athletes and uh, enjoying that so one thing to keep in mind we saw some of the newer construction on the south end of town and right now we're actually headed north and as you can tell the further north we go the older the trees get the older the landscape and the more mature it gets so when you're thinking about you know what an ideal home looks like to you obviously location is always important it needs to be real relatively close to work if you work i mean if you're retired or you work from home you know those are different things that we can take into consideration when uh, when you call us and, and we talk about you know the best spot for you but me personally i like the older landscaping and especially in the summertime it provides a lot of just natural shade it has that unique character that only time can provide like you know you can't go plant these giant trees there's no nowhere you know those, there's nowhere for those to come from so another thing about grand forks we're driving by right now golf courses there are multiple golf courses here we even have a country club so if you'd like to get a membership or check out what that looks like there's an outdoor pool you know you can you know hang out with your friends and neighbors and you know if, if country club living is is for you definitely that's an option all summer long you know a lot of the people here in grand forks have second homes in the winter time in the phoenix area and actually our team extends into the phoenix metro so we cover all of the phoenix arizona metropolitan area including scottsdale and chandler gilbert queen creek so a lot of the people here in grand forks um, that we work with um, also have you know second homes for the winter down there so if that's if that's you and that's a situation that you want to look into one call does it all you can you know our team can take care of you here in grand forks and the entire state of north dakota of course and of course in arizona as well you know, depending on what stage of life you're in and, and how your finances are, obviously in the south end of town, there's all these big, beautiful, brand new houses. Some of them only a couple years old. Some of them literally still being framed and never yet lived in. Keep in mind that the majority of the people that live there, that is not their first home. That's probably their second or third or even fourth time they've made a, a sale and purchase in their lives. And so for most people, they work up to that size of the house. The good news is living in Grand Forks, if you don't have the budget for those brand new, big, beautiful homes, Grand Forks has been here a long time and there are a ton, and I mean that, a ton of resale homes. Just look out the window here. These homes are beautiful. They're old, but they are so full of character. They're close to downtown. Uh, a lot of them are rental homes, especially for college students, but uh, a lot of them are also lived in by just regular families who are either more budget conscious or they really genuinely want you know, an older home that, you know, has a lot more character than, you know, what some people see in, you know, the newer ones. So make sure you give us a call so we can definitely help you navigate Grand Forks and understand the nuances of the different, of the different areas. And that way, you know, you can definitely, you know, be super comfortable and confident that, you know, where you're moving to here is going to be, you know, the absolute best spot for you. All right, so downtown Grand Forks, in previous years was definitely what you might consider sketchy, dangerous even, if not just undesirable. Well, I'm about to turn the camera around here for you guys. I'm gonna turn left here. I'll stick it out the window of the car here. And I just want you guys to just take it in. Pretend like you're driving with me right now and just take a look around and see what you have to see and 
what you think. Comment below what, uh, what your thoughts are. So you might notice that mixed in with all these super old buildings are a couple of brand new looking ones. Obviously, whenever possible, I've noticed that, you know, they're trying to preserve the old buildings, uh, update them, retrofit them, make them, you know, continue their life. But others are demolished and rebuilt, but they're trying to maintain a look and a feel that really says this is downtown Grand Forks, historic downtown. And look how clean it is, guys. Do you see trash? Do you see cigarette butts? Do you see a bunch of vagrant homeless people? All these lights strung back and forth. This is super fun at night, bar hopping from place to place, hanging out with your friends. Of course, here's the old town park. So right here, pizza place, they have the only rooftop bar in downtown. Super fun. They're doing a lot of green spaces and pocket parks. Grand Forks is making a definite effort at maintaining extremely desirable downtown. But as you can see, this area of Grand Forks is totally different than what you'll see in the far south end where everything is brand new. All right, so jobs and major employers in Grand Forks. Uh, first and foremost, the University of North Dakota or UND as you know, it's called locally. It's the oldest and largest institution of higher education in the entire state of North Dakota. UND is not just like an academic hub, um, but like I said, it's one of the top employers in the city from academic staff to administrative roles, you know, support roles, maintenance, everything else in between. Um, it's a very esteemed institution. You know, it provides livelihoods for a significant portion uh, of the Grand Forks residents. Healthcare is also super big and it's a critical um, part of the uh, economy in Grand Forks. The uh, All True Health System uh, with its state-of-the-art facility serves not just the city of Grand Forks, but really a vast region providing essential healthcare services. Um, this, their expansive you know, hospital network uh, means that they're you know, continually on the lookout for talent across various medical disciplines. So if you're considering Grand Forks and you're in the medical field, talk to a headhunter or do some Googling and I'm sure you can find a position very quickly within this uh, network. And there's a lot of other employers as well, but just outside of Grand Forks, you might as well still consider it. Grand Forks is the major Grand Forks Air Force Base. Now, it's obviously an integral part of our national defense. It's also a cornerstone of the local employment, you know, and it contributes significantly to the city's, uh, you know, socioeconomic fabric. It's definitely a major part of the community and the economy. So if you're moving here uh, to Grand Forks um, and you're with the military, um, you know, our team can definitely help you with a VA loan. That's one of the best loan programs out there as far as 0% down, no P and line. Um, you know, give us a call, shoot us an email, send us a text message, and we'll be able to help you get that set up. All right, so one of the things about living here in Grand Forks is there are parks everywhere, um, both indoor, outdoor. Um, this one is called Optimus Park. You've got tennis courts, um, which have been partially converted into pickleball. Uh, pickleball obviously is taking over everything. You got uh, a warming hut here. So if you're out here doing uh, ice hockey or playing in the winter time, obviously it does get really cold. And so, you know, the warming hut, warming house is gonna be really nice, especially with, with the bathrooms and things like that. Um, you got playgrounds for the kiddos. You got a memorial, law enforcement memorial. So, you know, being so close to the, on the border with Minnesota and, and uh, Canada, you know, we're, we got a lot of, um, you know, memorials dedicated to different people from all these areas. So it's a greater, you know, Grand Forks area, not just the city of Grand Forks itself. But this park has been here a while, as you can tell. Just walking around, we got trees. We got the Ramada over here. You can rent that out for birthday parties. Big open field. In fact, here we got the uh, a soccer field. Um, there's no goals up right now, but you've got the LED lights. You can hang out here, have the kids out playing. Got another soccer field over there. One of my favorite things though, just in general, is how quiet it is. So if you're used to a larger city, there's no airplanes, there's no jets, you can't hear the freeway. It's just quiet, although we have access to all of those things and it's really close to get to them. All right, so if you made it this far, there's a really good chance that you're seriously considering moving or relocating here to Grand Forks. And if that's the case, guys, pick up the phone, give us a call, shoot us an email, Send a quick text message, days, nights, weekends. We've got your back from moving here to Grand Forks, North Dakota. And until the next video, we'll catch you on the next one.